guys welcome back to my channel make easy from this specific video we are starting file handling in QBasic so basically what does it mean file handling means handling files like we'll create a file we'll store some data into the file and then we'll read those data using the program and we'll delete some records search data in the file so it is about file handling let's say now we'll create this type of file like the text file or the data file and we'll store some data like name can be like this and then roll number and then add age something like that we'll create a file using program this type of file and we'll store data using the program we're not gonna open notepad and store the data but the program will create a file and store the data so now this is what first program write a program to create a new sequential data file and store a student name roll number and age okay fine so syntax for opening a file is open file name so file name is not mentioned in this question so you can give any name like i will give stud.txt because for a student record for output as as one so this is the syntax to open the file in output mode so what does it mean output mode will create a new file new data file and then we can store the data in that file so stud.txt this file will be created when we press f5 button after completing this code so stud.txt file will be created in the computer and in this file we can store the data because we are using output mode so this output mode will create a new file so we can store data so what are the data we need to store that is student name so we'll ask user to enter a student name so i will write your input enter student name and then i will use here n dollar to store that name and then next what we want is enter a student name and then roll number student roll number so for roll number i will use r because this is number and then next we need is age enter age then i will store that age in a variable so these are the values in n dollar we have name in r we have roll number and then in this a we have age so i want to store this all name roll number age in this file stud.txt for that we'll use here write statement write statement will store the data into the file so write has one means this number will represent this file stud.txt so write has one means we are going to store this data in this has one file that is stud.txt what are those data that is name that is n dollar for a's we have here r so i'll use here r and then for a's we have this a so in this has one file means stud.txt we are storing this information name roll number and age then after storing we need to close the file so close has one that means we are closing this file we open the file in output mode to store the data we have taken the input from the user whatever we need we store the data into the file using this write statement and after storing we are closing the file and then last we'll end the program so where this file will be created first thing when you press the f5 button to run the program then you, the file will be created where it will be created where your qbasic is installed in my computer in this local disk c i have qb64 folder this is here i've installed qb64 if you want to install you can just check out that link i will provide in the description so here it will be created stud.txt yes tud file one already exists so i will delete this now okay so yeah this is the file i will delete this now stud.txt is not here look at this it is not here the sum this is here but after pressing f5 button to run the program i will make this small screen okay press f5 to run the program or you can go to this option run option and start as you can see stud.txt will be created just wait for a few seconds it will be created here program is executing as you can see creating.exe file 
when we run the program, this key B64 will create a exe file that is software. Okay. Enter a student name. As you can see in this program, we have written that enter a student name. So I will enter name, roll number, I will enter 14, and then for A's, I will enter 13. Then now after this, press any key to continue. So I will press enter. Now let's check here. STUD dot txt must be here. Look at this. STUD dot txt is created. In this file, look, make easy whatever we have entered there and roll number and then is. It is stored in this file. So we have this file and we have this information in this file using this program. It is created. Now, if I want to store records of three students or four students. This program is only storing information about one student. So if we want to store its record of five students, so I can use for loop for i equals to one, two, three, for three students, one, two, three. And after this write statement, we need to write next time, next time. So let me make this little bit small screen, run the program again and enter the value. As you can see, std.txt is created over there. And name, I will enter random name for now. Number, roll number, and then is. Again, it is asking for second one because we have written for loop. And then for this, okay, again, third time. So it is storing record of three students. Okay, I will just press enter. And this file is already exist here, stud.txt. But make a note of one thing, the old data will be deleted. Look, I'll open this file, look at this name, and then three records. But the previous data, which we have stored, like make easy and roll number something, that, that is deleted in the output mode. So if you are using output mode, and then file is, if file is already exist in the computer, then the old data will be deleted, new data will be stored in the file every time when you run the program. So let me remove this and let me give two. For two peoples only, I want to store data. So stud.txt is already exist. So I, again, I'm running this program and let's see what will happen. Name, I will enter this for roll number and then for A's. And second time again, and then roll number and then A's. Look, just end the program and then open this file again. Look at this, the old data is deleted in the output mode. So this is how it work. This is just a simple program to create a file and store the data into the file in file handling. In the next video, I will explain you how you can store some records. There is few questions related to store few records or some records like that. It is not mentioned like store only two records or three records or five records. So how you can do that, I will explain you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you understand this program, click on the like button. Just comment below if you want to ask any questions. And subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.